everyone. It's going to be the fourth and final or basic weapons tutorial. So this is pretty simple, really. Um, there's only one left. It's the damage pulse. So we go into the standard into the standard factory and check out the recipe. This one is a damage pulse computer. It has needs 500 fertikine capsules and 1,000 crystal composites. Um, if I just change this over again, so D A M. And we got damage pulse module. Okay, so yep, and view the recipe. 50 fertikine capsules, 100 crystal composite. You can see the pattern forming there if you watched the previous three. There should be a link in the description or a playlist or something to show you the other tutorials in this series. Um, but effectively, you can see they're all the same, just requiring a particular type of material. Um, so now we know how to make them what are the ids for them well the id for the damage pulse is do, 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 do. damage 416 for the damage pulse computer and 417 for the damage pulse module okay so from there what we're going to do is do exactly what we did last time so hit x Get in a new core, we have symmetry on, we're going to put a power module down and then a thruster. That's not a thruster, there we go. We're going to get our damage pulse computer, stick it at the end and then go run a line of damage pulse like this. And actually make it like have a little poke at the end, alright. Push R to make that current and now we're going to go and find a target to harass. So push T and drag the weapon down and we're going to go right up to it this is a contact weapon because obviously it has a uh, point of origin and it is radius based so you'll see boom and we've done some damage now as you can see it's damaged the whole block and interestingly it seems to have damaged a few layers inside it which is the best thing about this weapon it can in fact damage things inside and evenly so as you can see total destruction from the damage pulse module it's uh, one of my favorites and you might be asking well what happens when you combine this one and then scale it up well really all you can combine it with is the um, well you can combine it with any of them really any of the four but for the purposes of this guide what we're going to do is we're going to put the cannon on there because it's the most basic one for people to understand so if I just whack a cannon computer on there and then get some cannon blocks, all we have to do is match the same number of modules, which is like that, done. So now it is matched 100%. If you remember from the previous, you'll know that the DPS has not changed. I'm just going to put something there so that we don't have to look at those barrels. Things will become transparent if they're directly in front of the core. So now as you can, now I've got a nice clear view. So let's go over to this one over here and test this out now. So this should fire faster but with half of the damage now. So let's just test it out. And again. Should fire faster, he says. Did we actually... I don't think we actually hooked it up properly. Did I do a derp? I did do a derp. There we go. That's better. Let's go and find another target. Because I messed that one up. Ready? Power! Yep, that seems to work really well, actually. Really love the shrapnel effects. Okay, let's try it from here. Boom! Boom! Yeah, that really does... That really does work. Okay, so let's scale it up now. Oh, let's try against something that isn't a hull. Hello, last ship. Huh? Huh? There we go. Yes. Wow, that destroyed easier than basic hull. I like. Okay, so uh, finally we're going to beef this thing up uh, in the usual way. So I'm just going to triple it. Okay, triple it in size. Um, like a sandwich, just like this. So we'll push C on the slave, uh, push that up there, gone back, 
There we go. And uh, just like last time, we're going to have to add some power. There's no way one power thing can support all of that. There we go. That'll do for me. Right. So now let's approach this thing from the back. Oh, we're getting a bit sluggish now with our one thruster. But that's okay. It's still manageable. Okay, so let's take a look at the external view and head in. So here we go. Boom. Oh. Well, that's pretty devastating, actually. I'm going to use it against my salvager to see what would happen if uh, someone was using one of these against a player. So here we go. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, so yeah, this is possibly the most underrated weapon in the game. I like... Look at that. That's way more effective than a gun or a missile. <laughs> okay, so obviously we haven't shown you shields. This is all dealing with the idea of ships that don't have shields. Shields are quite high level at the moment in the crafting system, which is why I didn't even cover them yet. But future tutorials will deal with shields, okay? So that is the damage pulse tutorial done going to be covering some more advanced combinations in future videos. If you like this video or found it helpful, please leave a like and share the video with people who are learning the game because that's what they're made for. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.